hey guys welcome back so this one this video I've been wanting to make is on statin drugs that you take for cholesterol high cholesterol I've been taking uh, Lipitor now please this is just me everybody needs to do what's best for them what your medical condition is that's between you and your doctor <coughs> But I started out on 10 milligrams, and a few months ago, it got raised 20 and then 40. Well, the one thing that all of us who have chronic illness does is pay attention to our body because it changes. We get new illnesses. We get different symptoms, other things that happen, and I know I have to pay close attention to anything that has changed, especially medication. And so I mentioned in my last video where I was having terrible leg pains, where I couldn't sleep at night, and I thought it was because I forgot more energy, so I was doing more. Whew, y'all, it got so bad. It got so bad that whenever I went to bed at night, I would get up and I would walk the floor. I went nights and nights without sleep. The muscles and my bones hurt so bad. And I have restless leg syndrome and I take magnesium for that. And that calms it down. But this was just indescribable. It was just every night. And then it was all throughout the day. And... I was getting ready to call and get a point with my doctor because it was just horrible. And then I stopped to remember and think, and I had went up on the Lipitor to 40 milligrams when it started. So I cut it back down to 10 to see what would happen, and they went away. So, of course, I had got on the Internet and looked, and one of the... Uh, one of the the most side effects that you have is muscle spasms and pain, the muscle pains. So that's the side effect I was having. And I had been on 10 milligram and even 20 milligram for a long time. We're talking three, four years. And it hadn't lo lowered my cholesterol to where they were happy with at my doctor's. But I had always myself... You know, from doing research from the time that I got sick 10, 12 years ago, I never trusted the statin drugs, never wanted to take them, didn't believe in it. I mean, this is my own personal self. I mean, you can find as many videos and research about uh, the dangers of statin drugs. Your liver puts off the cholesterol. The statin drug is there to get rid of the cholesterol therefore it lowers it but it can also damage your liver in the process that's why you have blood work every three months so it's another one of those drugs it's always just a circle you know and i never really wanted to take it and uh so i went back down to 10 milligrams and then I started researching what can I take naturally instead of the statin drug. What did they used to take? So what they take is garlic pills, which I got me some. I got a thousand milligram of garlic pills. And they got red yeast rice. And I got this particular kind because there is... A toxic chemical in red yeast rice and this one particularly makes sure that it does not have it in it that's why I got this one so I thought okay I'm good to go now so Sunday the recommended dose is 1200 milligrams which is two tablets so Sunday night I took my two tablets Saturday night I'm sorry well, Sunday night, I took my two tablets, and my legs started hurting again. Oh, my goodness. As soon as you lay down, I mean, 
it hurts, and I walk the floor. Last night I went, well, this can't be doing it. So I took two again. I have had no sleep. I mean, the pain is just out of this world. Your, mu your muscle and your bone and, I mean... You feel better up walking around than trying to relax because the more you lay there trying to relax, the worse it hurts. So guess what? Yeah, so I can't take this either. So the only natural thing, unless somebody can give me some comments down below that I have found, is the garlic peel. I have been researching and researching. And I had to go get blood work done <clears throat> this weekend my doctor's already got her nurse calling me yesterday going your cholesterol is still too high she wants to know are you not taking your Lipitor I said well I was just in there two weeks ago and told her I couldn't take it it was causing my pain level to be out of this world you know I can't take it so we'll see what they come up with next because all the statin drugs, they're the same. They're made by different companies, but they're the same. They do the same. I mean, so I don't know. And I know, I don't know what it is, but me personally, I do not believe in the fact that high cholesterol is what causes heart attacks and strokes. I have watched so many documentaries and so much done so much research and it's not lately it's a few years um uh, that um just as many people have strokes and and heart attacks that do not have high cholesterol you know i think uh i think it was like in 1979 when they came out with the statin drugs and before that, they were giving out something different that was more in the line of the red yeast rice. And I wish I could take this. I really do. But the pain is just, you can't live with it. I mean, you got to sleep, and it's just too much. But if anybody knows anything else, because I have researched, and like I said, this is my journey. Please, you do whatever is best for you, whatever your doctor, you know, recommends and you are happy with that you're, you and your doctor discuss. That's what you need to do. But I am going to go. Thank you, guys, and I'll see you again. Bye.